let's talk about tech fluency. Now first, we can admit this phrase isn't perfect, but any of the other words and terms that we might use, like digital fluency, tech literacy, digital transformation, none of them are ideal, but some can be more useful, like this idea of fluency. Because you can ask, what does it mean to be fluent in tech, the same way that you can ask, what does it mean to be fluent in French or German or Japanese? And the answer is always, it depends. And that's not being vague or evasive, it's that we recognize there are levels of fluency. I mean, most languages have formalized ways to recognize this, but even without this, we kind of know. Fluency means one thing if your goal is to be a translator at the United Nations, but it's quite a different thing, and for most people a bit more relevant, if your goal is to be fluent enough to walk into a restaurant and order a meal. But even that basic idea of fluency just still implies this level of comfort. There's a willingness to actually engage, to take part. And without that, you're not fluent. I mean, we all know people who've studied a foreign language for years. They could take a test on how to conjugate verbs. They could pass a vocabulary exam. But still, after all of that time, they've never felt comfortable enough to actually have a real conversation. Because the fact is, if all you know is a bunch of facts about grammatical structure and verb tense, that doesn't mean very much without also having that motivational and behavioral shift. But one of the most fundamental aspects of being fluent in languages or in technology is you're willing to have a conversation that you wouldn't have had before. We'll come back to this. The great thing about talking tech fluency at Navigate is that we don't have to stand here and say, did you know there's a technical skill shortage? Yes, you know, we all do. This room is filled with people who engage with this problem every single day. But it is a different problem than it was even a few years ago. Today, you need technical knowledge across your entire workforce. Now, your developers, do they need to know, do they need to understand cloud computing and agile? Yes, absolutely. But your HR professionals, they should also understand the advantages and the limitations of platforms. Your marketing managers, they stand to benefit from engaging with automation. Business analysts should understand AI. L&D professionals should speak the language of security. Today, you need more people having more tech-centric conversations. Today, you need more people who can recognize the problems that technology solves. Today, you need greater technical acumen woven into the very fabric of your business up and down the org chart. And the thing is, we're plural site, okay? So you don't find courses here that teach basket weaving and flower arranging. We teach technology skills. That is our DNA. That's why we exist. But the way we might have taught technical skills to people in technical practitioner roles this doesn't work when they're in this mixed audience idea, this general mix of both technical and non-technical roles. You have different goals, different motivations, different expectations about what that entire experience should be. So for this audience and for this purpose, we are taking a different approach. Instead of providing access to a library with thousands of courses, yes, we still have that, but we're providing a program. It's a structured set of content. And the program is designed for this reason, for tech fluency across the organization. And the content is designed for this audience, this mixture of technical and non-technical roles. Well, for a quick overview, take a look.
Thank you. Tech Foundations is an intentionally concise, focused curriculum. The program is only 12 courses, each less than 40 minutes, so about eight hours in total, teaching the most relevant, widely applicable technologies of today. Technologies like cloud computing, AI, IoT, automation, blockchain. And with these courses, learners gain the vocabulary, the breadth of knowledge, and the context needed to be conversational. And to do this, unlike Let's say some other places, we are not just packaging up a bunch of content that we already had. That doesn't work. This is not old wine in new bottles. This content is all fit for purpose. It is made for this audience. It's made for this business case. It has to be engaging and accessible to hold the learner's attention, to make it easier to just keep watching, just keep involved a little bit longer. So it's all high context, it's conversational, fast paced, short clips, tons of variety, something new happening on screen every 20, 30 seconds. We use physical props to make this material more relevant, more real, more authentic, easier to connect with. And if there isn't a real physical artifact to use, we'll use digital artifacts and interact with them on screen. As a rule, you will never see bullet points in these courses. We use live action, animation, motion graphics to keep the learner visually engaged, to make it easier to just, just enjoy it, just watch a little bit more. All done with a ton of attention to detail and where the learner is at the center of it all. And not just the content, but the entire experience. Tech Foundations is a guided learning experience, one where we put absolutely no curation onus on the learner. Learners begin on the program page, and here they can see the breadth of the entire experience in a single glance. The topics are ordered as a grid, and that's because we didn't want to enforce a sequence on learners. With Tech Foundations, we aim to create learner agency. We want learners to find a topic of interest and to dive right in. And when they do, on the topic page, they'll see both a course and an assessment. Again, we want this to be a self-directed experience, so a learner can choose to start with either. If they choose to start with the assessment, it functions as a pre-assessment, where learners can demonstrate their knowledge and assess out, saving time for what they do want to learn. And for those with learning to do, the assessment functions as a post-assessment, where learners can take the assessment after they've watched the course. Regardless, the assessment is brief and easy to understand. And upon completion, a learner's conversational knowledge has been scored. Along with their score, learners also receive a recommendation for further review based on any questions they may have answered incorrectly. Upon successfully completing the assessment, learners receive a score towards program progress with one point for each topic. The scoring system makes success easy to understand and the design of the program makes success easy to achieve. And the thing is, there are so many choices throughout this program to make it feel like a growth experience, not a compliance one. But I would sympathize. This all begs the question, does it actually work? Does it make a difference? Well, here's just a few of our favorite quotes from people who've been through this. And if I had to pick just one, it is the, I thought this would be stupid, like some ethics or security training, but I absolutely loved it. I ended up binging them like a Netflix show. That is the kind of response we're looking for with this experience. That is the kind of response that we're getting. Over the last couple of years, we've implemented a version of this program with a few of our largest partners. And with them, we've learned what works and doesn't in terms of the content, as well as driving these programs on an organizational level. The tech foundations you see today is a result of this learning, and it works. We're creating tech fluency at scale today across some of the world's largest enterprise organizations. And it is becoming a way to shift that, that organizational mindset around technology where you have more and more people able to recognize where technologies can help. They understand how the tools and the applications they use every day help the business and where all of this fits together. And it's designed to deliver those light bulb moments, those, oh, now I understand why people talk about this technology. I get what this does. I get why this is important. To increase that sense of comfort, that the identity shift, that someone would join a meeting about machine learning that they might have avoided before. They would pick up and read that article they would never have read before. They would have that conversation they wouldn't have had before. 
We couldn't be happier with how well this program has been working. We have been blown away by the response to it, and we are incredibly excited to finally make tech foundations more broadly available. Back to Gary.